We're just getting started. Please continue. So back at it again, CoinOps with their next release. And how I would define this release for my viewers is think about this as a 128 gigabyte image like you'd find for the Raspberry Pi, but for your PC with a little bit of everything, including some nicer consoles like PlayStation 2, where you can really take advantage of the increased processing and graphical power. And uh, it's beautiful. Let, let's, let's check this one out. It's beautiful for sure. And plug and play amazingness. Arcade and genres and consoles. All right, here we are, the full retro arcade build, giving you everything we've seen in the past with all these collections here for all the arcade games, but now with even more consoles. We got Doom 1, Doom 2, Dreamcast, we got 27, Game & Watch, we got 17, Game Boy Advance, we got 30, GameCube, we got 27, Sega Genesis, 129, Laser, this is your Daphne game, 7, Nintendo 64, 17, NES, 19, PC Engine, 15, PlayStation 8, PS2, 7, PS3, 18, PSP, 9, Sega Model, 2, uh, you got a total of 8, SNES, you got 120, PC games, you don't have any in here right now. Um, I'm not sure if you want to connect that to your your Steam account or if they're going to have more later. And then consoles is all your console games all together. So 444. And then back to arcade. How big is the arcade set? 900 arcade games. So there's about 1,300, 1,400 games all in this beautiful front end that you've seen me play around with. The, th the th Right now we're on the wall theme. Remember the wall theme, you get these little, or you get all these cabinets, these big wall cabinets with the video snaps on one side, on the left, and the right loading as you go through. Love the light gun. Don't know about those tattoos though. And you can change the themes here, just toggling through the themes. You could turn splash screens on and off. I just went through a splash screen there. Let's go ahead and turn those off for the for this particular video. But um, you can. Uh, add your own splash screens. You know, if you want to do like a game over, man, game over video, it's really easy to do. So theme toggle. You also notice when you're on this screen right here, you see what what theme you're on right now. Right now I'm on wheel theme, right? It just said I was on wheel. So it's it's like a, a track, not a track mode, but a hyper spin type of wheel. Let's go ahead and hit this again. And these are gonna be the, I just made a video and you might be wondering like, what's the difference between this video and the video you made yesterday? And uh, the video, this one is more of an all in one. It has those 1,400 games versus 475. Um, so now I think we're back on, this looks like wall again. So it looks like a little bit less uh, themes to choose from, just wall and wheel. Um, wall is where I think it's at. I love it. So um, I imagine that this is more of a less configuration and more just loaded with your favorite games. So speaking of loaded with your favorite games, let's go ahead and go through this. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time going through the arcade classics because this is probably a similar build to everything else. But let's go through the collection. You got 100 old school games. You got 74 beat em up games, 109 run and gun games, 107 fight club games, 155 shoot em ups, 20 puzzle games as your Tetris and things like that. Sports-related games or WrestleMania and stuff like that. I imagine WrestleMania should be in here. No. Is WrestleMania, oh, I guess WrestleMania would be more of a, you know, a fight club, if you will. Would it be? Yeah, there you go. Um, so sports, hockey, baseball. We even have a little thing in the wheel there. And then racing games here. Now, one of the biggest differences in this build is going to be your more high-performance game. So if you don't have a good, capable computer, you're not going to be able to run a lot of this stuff. Like Nintendo GameCube, for example, has a way higher system requirement than, you know, SNES. Uh, Nintendo 64 as well. And then even up to PlayStation 3, which does require somewhat of a high-performing graphics card. Now, at the time of release, these games, I'm having difficulty getting them to work. I'm sure there's a small fix you have to do to the PS3 emulator. The PS3 emulator, in my history of playing around with it, it's very fickle. You know, it's it's you know, it requires a lot of configuration. Once it's right, though, it's right. It works great. But um, nice to see these games on here. As these are really fun games with some really good graphics on them. So um, I think that's going to be your biggest challenge. Your biggest, not your challenge, but change in this uh, 
in this build and where people are going to say whether they want to get this build or not. Now, weighing it in 110 gigabytes, it's also a lot larger of a download, and that's because a lot of these CD-based games take up a lot more space. So let's keep talking about this as I go through the games. Um, really quick, over the consoles, 120 SNES Sega model. These games are awesome, and this is where I see, this is why I like these builds, is I've made videos on how to set up the Sega Model 2 emulator, and it's quite difficult. So to get these already pre-configured for you with the controls working for Xbox 360 controller, it's really nice. Then you got Doom 1 and Doom 2. So Doom 1, Doom 2. Love the little blood here. And I mentioned this in my last video, you know, a lot of people don't make it through the whole video, but as we go through these games here, I just want to show you how cool these, um, you know, this artwork is. You got the T molding on these cabinets, you got the different controls. Look at these video snaps, instantaneous loading times. You know, this is amazing. Look when I hard scroll. Well, first let me go through these games and then we'll hard scroll once we get to the end of this collection here. But um, lag free. Now, I'm on a really fast computer. I'm on the latest AMD Ryzen 5800 laptop. But um, so it looks like Game & Watch. Okay, the video, you can see them moving there. I like the room with the little LED lights at the top. The recessed indirect lighting. Uh, or it's kind of a spotlight lighting, right? It's, it's a spotlight on the games themselves. And um, so some of this stuff, you know, this is not an all-in-one system. You're not going to want to add more games onto the, or I guess you could, but really, you know, um, well, I guess this is this build would be a lot better than the Retro Elites I, I did yesterday because, as you saw when I started this video, there's a lot of ways you can organize these games. And so being able to organize them will make these larger collections a lot more manageable. So it does have that going for it. Now me, myself, you know, there's so many builds out there. There's the core team, there's this, the coin ops team, there's P, you know, CP78 doing, um, you know, um, I always forget the name, launch box builds. And so from my opinion, um, you know, I like plug and play, and this is what this is, right? It's, you know, get this, wow, nice, nice games here. If this doesn't remind you of going to the arcade, I don't know what does, and this is so awesome. Uh, so bring the arcade home with this latest release. So 129 here, I don't want to go through 100 games. They're Sega Genesis games. I mean, that's a lot. That's probably going to be your best of your best. Dragon's Lair 1, 2, Lock 3, Space Ace. Nintendo 64, now what I love about Nintendo 64 emulation in general on the PC is no lag. You're going to get lag on the Raspberry Pi 4 or not be able to run it at high resolution. Here you can run all these games at high resolution, not see much tearing, and they're going to run just great. So I like that a lot. NES 19 games. Got your Super Mario Brothers. Man, that's just so cool. So these are the Play Choice cabinets, but the actual ROM itself is not the Play Choice ROM. Or I don't believe it is. Should just be the regular NES ROM. Now PC Engine, you got 15 games. Another simple system with two buttons. Beautiful wall art here though, you got the brick in the back. PlayStation, you got a total of eight games. Let's start with game number one. If you're wondering in the lower right hand corner, you can see how many games total and which game you're on at the moment and then there's a little logo there now playstation didn't actually have a cabinet so these are made up cabinets just like ps2 and so seven games i did play this it runs out of the box really well now ps3 like i said i had some issues with it um i'm sure they're gonna either install or fix the problem with playstation 3 is like if you're on windows 7 versus windows 10 um, what kind of, do you have an NVIDIA graphics card? Do you have an AMD graphics card? And then there's all sorts of files running in the background as well that can be easily broken. And then people start playing around with it as well. I'm not saying I did, but, um, you know, it, it can get a little weird. Um, the cool thing about CoinOps is it's a living, breathing community. And if you're patient, you know, you know these things get resolved and, and they work fine very shortly after. PSP Ridge Racer. And if you notice, a lot of these games are kind of the best of the best, as well as a lot of these games, especially for the consoles, are kind of the arcade reboots of those games. So there is a common theme here that is throughout, and uh, it's pretty cool. So again, with Super Nintendo, I'm not going to go through every single uh, Super Nintendo cabinet, 
but uh, it's going to be your best of your best. Now, PC games here, I'm not sure if this is not loading correctly on my computer or this is like to, to be set up with your Steam to integrate with your Steam game so you can just access this as a front end, install it on your laptop or computer, and then go from there. Now settings, I kind of meant over this. Uh, this is like a, 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 a homebrew game of Mario if you click into here. Here are your um, you know, quick controls. A track mode is the, uh, the menu that gets you to the different consoles and things. Glass effect is like a CRT monitor, uh, a glass over uh, effect. And then the scan lines are those little lines you see here, kind of like uh, ribbing on the screen. Looks really great on those arcade. And then switch between the two themes here. Now you have a lot more customization as you go into the actual file structure here. As I exit the game here, I'm in arcades and genres and consoles. I can get rid of genres and just do arcades and favorite consoles, or I could do arcades and consoles. Um, this, is what, this is what I would select if you just pretty much want the consoles. You're not playing a lot of arcades. This is if you want everything. This is if you're primarily doing consoles only, you don't, or, or arcade only, sorry, not consoles. This is consoles. Um, and then this is like even smaller collections, only the 150 best arcades, only the 300 best arcades. This might be good for like kids or if you want to have a, you know, you want somebody to check it out, but you don't want them to be overwhelmed. Um, pretty cool there. So here's that PC game link. So I imagine this command line will get you linked up to your Steam account. You can add like Pinball FX, all sorts of other Steam games um, that you want. Emulators this is where all your emulators are are stored now as you see here there's a lot more going on here than the retro elite build you got your ps2 emulator which is a standalone emulator your your, your playstation 3 emulator your sega model 3 emulator um n64 you got project 64 installed i guess that's for some of the games because i noticed some games do launch through retro arch so i'm not sure if they're all running through project 64 through retro arch or some games might load differently because some games do run better on uh, project 64 versus yeah right here mupin 64 plus is is a, another really good uh, nintendo 64 emulator so you could choose between those two depending on the rom which will run better and then daphne's on installed as well so that's what i love about this is that plug and play that all these emulators and all the batch files and everything are all set up for you to get to start with Advanced configurations, all those beautiful batch files to, you know, to allow you to uh, clear your favorites, turn on and off your favorites. If you're going to be using a, an, uh, you know, uh, uh, an arcade stick, you know, zero delay arcade stick, it gets you set up for that. Um, let's say you mess up your controls. You can go ahead and go back, reset everything. You can change the aspect ratios. A lot of you like uh, have a second screen installed or a lot of you like different resolutions. You don't like it stretched out or you do like it stretched out. Um, you know, or you're using a different type of monitor that requires it to be changed. You could do all that with the click of a button versus figuring that out on your own. So plug and play, easy to use, beautiful build. So here it is all rarred up and I just go 7-zip, extract all. 7-zip is a free program and then you're left with the retro arcade main folder here. So here's the manufacturing, manufacturer view. And so there you go, you see them all, Cave, Data ETH, Capcom, Atari. Um, but this is all arcades, no consoles in this view. Let's get ex exit out. And uh, so these are these this these three icons will have no arcades. And then these will be only 300 arcades, only 150 arcades, and then this one's even small. This one's a little bigger, 300 arcades plus your favorite console. So that's a good way if some of you are mainly want this build for the arcade games, um, and then just maybe some console games you like. Maybe you don't want to play, especially if your computer's not very good. Maybe you don't want to play PlayStation 3 or Sega Model 2. You need, you know, something a little less graphically intensive. Um, then you can go with that. But arcades and John, this is the most comprehensive list of all this stuff. So as you see, you have all your arcade genres, right? We just passed them. Then you have all your consoles as well. So you go through the consoles and then you have all the console games on one and then settings and then all your arcade games. So it gives you everything you can possibly think of. Choose one. Other 
There you have it, the coin ops team yet again, just going full throttle, getting these releases out there, ever improving, getting feedback, um, beautiful stuff. I mean, if a lot of you just like arcade games, you might want the smaller build, but others of you like the option of also playing consoles. Now, in my opinion, I if I had this build on a, you know, a, a laptop, this would entertain me for probably the rest of my life. There's so many good games on here, so many good retro games, all running really smooth, beautiful by the way. Uh, now obviously you have to have the system requirements to play some of these games, but if you do, uh, these are great, especially if you don't want retro retro games. You got those retro arcades, but then you got some more of these 2000s games on it. Now here we are in the year 2021, who knows, these are gonna be really retro in 20 years from now, but um, I'm just saying these games are, are classics, great games. You're gonna be able to see games throughout different generations, like a game like Outrun, which came out for the arcade, and then you can also play it for the PlayStation 2 or PSP um, or even PS3. So really cool that you know these games have been reworked, you know, whether it be graphics or the gameplay, just so much fun to be had here. Um, you know, I, I don't have any complaints here. I think people's complaints are going to be, you know, the file size. Some people, it's, it's a little hard to get a file size this big. And then when you have an all-in-one system like this, they're going to be like, oh, why didn't you include this game? Or why did you include this game? But from, you know, from their standpoint, you know, they released a really beautiful front end that's free, that runs great. It's plug and play. So I'm digging it. The one thing I did find was with that PlayStation 3, like I said, it's a fickle emulator. I imagine they'll release an update or like a how-to to just change like a config file to get that all working again. But other than that, even the Sega Model uh, 3 and Sega Model 2 games, they ran just fine, like right off boot. So, you know, not having to set up those emulators, not having to set up RetroArch, it's just so nice and, uh, you know, new user friendly. So two thumbs up for all that. Great work from their team. Great work from everyone working in the emulation scene. And again, remember, these people aren't getting paid for this. So um, it's so great to have people passionate, uh, working hard, and they deserve massive uh, props. So uh, thanks again for sharing this. I, I got a lot more diving deep into this one, but just wanted to kind of showcase it. And uh, I'm digging it. Thank you. Thank you all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.